Hello and welcome to Open SAP course DevOps for ABAP with GCTS in SAP S4 HANA, Week 3, Unit 4, Merge Branches. My name is Rinita Asani and I'm a developer at SAP. Alright, so you are already familiar with our system landscape, which consists of development system and a test system. In the previous units, you already created a repository with its default branch, main branch. And now in this unit, uh, you will create another uh, branch, for example, feature branch, make some changes there, merge it on the local repository by using GCTS app, and merge it on the remote repository by creating a pull request. So, Let's see a bit what's the content of this unit. We will start with defining what is branching and merging. Then we will see some examples for merge branches on the local repository and on the remote repository. Then we will see merge branches on the local repository by using GCTS app and on the remote repository by using a pull request on GitHub. Then we will see a demonstration of the exercise that you need to do and last but not least, we'll make a summary of what you need to remember from this unit. All right, because definition is the beginning of knowledge, let's define what is branching and merging. Now, based on the official Git documentation, branching means to diverge from the main line of development and continue to do work without messing with that main line. Now, for example, imagine you need to develop new feature or maybe you need to fix a bug. For this reason, you will create a new branch where you isolate your development there. So it's completely independent from the main line because you don't want to mess with the main line. Branching is a part of everyday development processes. And technically, when you create a branch, Git makes a pointer to a snapshot of your changes. After you have done your, with your development, you want to merge those changes into the main line. For this, git merge is necessary. Merging means to join two or more development histories together. So basically, what happens during git merge? Git merge uses two commit pointers. Usually, these are the tips of the branch and try to find a common base. Once it has found a common base, it creates a new commit, merge commit, and then it uh, incorporates the changes in, into one unified history. This command is also used by git pull to incorporate the changes from another repository and of course to merge changes from one branch into another. Now let's see some examples. The first, first example is regarding feature development. So you created a new branch, you called it feature. There you do your feature development and when you are done, you simply merge it to the main branch. A second example is in addition to the feature development, you also want to fix your bugs. So you created a maintenance branch for bug fixing. When you are done with it, you merge it to the main branch and also, you merge it to the feature branch. Now, this is important. Why you do that? Because maintenance branch was created at a later point than a feature branch. So implicitly, feature branch also has the bug. So it needs to be fixed there as well. Now, let's see merge branches on the remote repository. Now, in this use case, we have the local repository and the remote repository, which resides on GitHub. For the feature branch, it's no problem. We can push our changes to the remote. But for the main branch, this is not possible because it has branch protection. So repository administrators can enable protections on branch. By this, it means that the branch is protected against pushes. And the only way to merge your changes to the main branch is to create a pull request. Now, what is a pull request? Pull request uh, is at the heart of collaboration on GitHub. So developers propose their changes and they are waiting for someone to review and approve 
their changes so they can be merged to the main branch. All right, let's see a bit how this works uh, on GCTS app. On GCTS app, there is a tab called branches. There we can see all the branches inactive and active one. And there are some available actions that you can do. For example, the first one is comparison. You can compare the branches. And what we are interested in is the third one. So this makes merge. It merges the selected branch, so in this case the main branch, into the active branch, which is the feature branch. But also remember here what is important, you need to set parameters VCS automatic pull and VCS automatic push to false. Why you need to do that? That because by default when you release a transport request which uses uh, GCTS transport layer, uh, you the GCTS uh, pulls the latest commit from the remote repository into the local repository, then it creates a new commit, then it pushes that commit to the remote repository. So GCTS does this in order for the local repository to be always updated with the remote repository. But for our use case, when we create uh, more branches, and it can happen that many developers uh, would work on the same line of code, and in order to be able then to deal with the conflict resolution and so on, uh, we disable this parameter. How merge branches work on the remote repository? So there is a button, compare uh, branches. Uh, we are uh, comparing the branches, for example, in this case, main branch and feature branch, and we create pull request. Uh, the result of uh, comparison is that they are able to merge, uh, there is no conflict or something, and we simply merge the pull request. Now is the exercise time. For this, we will do together an exercise. Uh, I will show you the steps. The first step is to create a new branch. The second step would be to make some changes of ABAP objects. Third step is to release the transport request. Fourth step is to check the repository that the commit is there. And in the fifth step, we have two things to do. So we will merge the branches on the local repository using GCTS app and on the remote repository by creating a pull request. All right, to perform this exercise, uh, we have this repository on the development system. And I will go to the branches tab. So here we have only one branch and that is the main branch. Now we are going to create a second branch and call it feature. And I will choose it remote because I also want to be a remote branch. Create. All right, now we have Another branch, feature, uh, it's active branch, uh, it's available on the remote and on the local. So here on GitHub, we also can check. Just make a refresh. Yes, so we also have the feature branch here. Before uh, changing some ABAP objects, uh, let's make some uh, parameter configuration. So I will go to the configuration tab and here add the parameters VCS automatic push to false. So I will not change anything here, just save it. And also VCS automatic pull to false, save. All right, so now in my repository, I already have some objects. So I will use uh, ADT in Eclipse to change the object. For example, this one, it's a program. So here I will write a comment, right? This is open SAP course. 
and on dot at the end. Save my changes. Okay, now a new transport request is created, so I will write add a right statement. Save it. And of course, activate it. All right. And now I'm going to use uh, SE09 to release my task and transport request. So this is my task here. Press release and also release transport request. Right, just to refresh that there are no errors. Perfect. Now we go again to the GCTS tab and we want to check the repository. All right. So here, this is the commit from the remote repository. And here in the current commit, we can see the local commit. So as we see, this is different from this one. So it means that uh, there, there happened a local commit. And now let's go to the branches tab. And we have feature and domain. And let's make a comparison of what has changed. So yes, the change was tracked. We changed this program. It was modified. Close. Now, Next thing is to merge these two branches. So I will use uh, this button here. Selected branch will be merged into the current branch of local repository. So press this one. I will go with the default options and change nothing here. Merge branch. Yes. Branch was merged. So what does this command do? So it merges uh, the feature branch and main branch, and then it uh, pushes that commit to the remote repository. So it means that now we can see the commit in the remote feature. So let's go there and check. So we have feature. So feature had the recent pushes less than a minute ago. And if we check here, let's also see it. Yes, yeah, so here we can see in the feature the, the right statement that we wrote. This is an open SAP course. Okay, now we already here have the button compare and pull request. So we'll push this button. We can write something here, for example, Please review my code and then create a pull request. Checking for ability to merge automatically. Perfect. There are no conflicts here, so we can directly merge them. So I will press merge pull request, confirm merge. Pull request successfully merged and closed. That's perfect. So if we check, we are in, in the main branch, objects, check our program. And yes, we can see uh, the right statement here. All right, now let's move again to the slides. Let's make a recap of what you need to remember from this unit. So first thing to know is that the branching is a very powerful tool to work off the main line of development. And branches can be merged both on local repository and on the remote repository. So now we are at the end of this unit. Please follow the next unit, Solve Conflicts, with my colleague Karin Spiegel. Thanks for listening and bye.